I want to say a word about the preacher in the pastor. Phillips translates this verse after this fashion. So naturally, we proclaim Christ. We warn everyone we meet and we teach everyone we can. All that we know about him so that if possible we may bring every man up to his full maturity in Christ. The contemporary preacher must realize that many of the people who sit in pews on Sunday hope that the preacher may answer one critical question. It is essentially and substantially the same question that a king puts to a prophet in a time of trouble. Is there any word from the Lord? We've heard other words from other quarters. But we have come to a juncture in time when we would ask have we heard the last word is there a word from another source this the king asked of the prophet. Some who sit in the sanctuary may not know why they're there. But I submit to you that in spite of the widespread secularism of the, of the age, there are surprisingly large numbers of persons who still hope that some authentic tidings may come from an unseen source. Is there any word from the Lord which can help to illuminate the dark perplexities of our human situation? Is there any word from the Lord that can help to resolve the tensions, relieve the pressures, heal the hurts, eradicate the sense of guilt and fear which plague every man in this terrifying, torturous age? Is there any word that God lives and that he cares about what happens to the human family? 
Is there any word from the Lord that will make sense out of innocent sufferings? Thank God for hearers. Thank God for the hearers who come Sunday after Sunday. What would we do if we didn't have hearers? As preachers who pastor churches, how are we to preach? Negatively, we are not to preach ourselves. We are not stars. Always, Christ must have the preeminence. I have suggested to you before, get some words. For words constitute your tools. Get some words. But do not allow words to get in the way of the word. Always Christ must have the preeminence. Preparation precedes preaching. A man must be converted, a man must be called but he must realize that the call to preach is also a call to preparation. There is a pastor in the preacher and there is a preacher in the pastor. The preacher preaches as an accredited herald of God and as a true shepherd of souls. The preacher in the pastor prepares himself as carefully as he prepares his son. By constant reliance upon the one who called him, the preacher in the pastor prepares himself. I do not pray for these only, said the master, but also for those who are to believe in me through their word, that they may all be one, even as thou, Father, art in me and I am in thee that they also may be in us so that the world may believe that thou hast sent me the glory which thou hast given me I have given to them that they may be one as we are one in them and thou in me that they may become perfectly one so that the world may know that thou hast sent me and hast loved them even as thou hast loved me always the preacher's prayer must be, show me thy gospel. Show me that thy gospel is possible in this day and age. So may I never renounce the good fight of faith. Help me to scorn all power that is not pure and all force that is not in harmony 
with thy flaming will. Many times I shall have no one but thee at my side. When my doctrine is pure and my truth is glowing, I shall be alone, but thou shalt press me to thy heart. Thou who art lonely and forsaken, every now and then, every preacher feels lonely and forsaken but in that hour I seek one look from the king of kings my prayer is give me simplicity and give me depth free me from the temptation of being vain glorious or commonplace in preaching. The preacher in the pastor preaches with a sense of urgency. He preaches as a dying man to dying men. The preacher in the pastor speaks not for himself but for another he is an ambassador he represents another country the preacher in the pastor preaches with a sense of having been chosen and undergirded my precious promises Go and preach, and uh, lo, I am with you. Go and preach, and lo, I am with you. All way, even uh, to the end of the ages. Go and preach and uh, keep the promises in mind. The preacher in the pastor must preach persuasively. The aim of preaching is to win a verdict. No preacher stands and uh, speaks just to hear himself speaking. If you have been called of God, you preach for verdict. You hear Isaiah asking, uh, Who hath believed our report? I stand here as a reporter. Yeah. I don't make the news, I just report it. The Lord has already made the news. And uh, I stand here as a reporter. The Lord has made the news. I know he made the news. For the book says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. He made the news and uh, for 62 years uh, I've been reporting the news for 62 years. I've been going around 
on uh, telling boys and girls, men and women, uh, but there is one uh, who said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Well, I was in an age of anxiety. People are anxious about many things, anxious about aging, anxious about their jobs, anxious about their children, anxious about their past, anxious about their present, anxious about their future. The preacher in the pastor takes the truth of Christ and breaks it up into flames which kindle spiritual fires in the cold rooms of the soul. Pastors, let the preacher in you come out with a blessing. What a blessing it is to be a pastor. What a blessing it is to say, my people. What a blessing it is to be addressed as brother pastor. Nothing sounds in a preacher's ears like brother pastor. What a blessing it is to be a pastor. Be all the pastor that God gives you the grace to be. Be all the pastor that God gives you the strength to be. Be all the pastor that God gives you the insight to be. But every now and then, let the preacher come out. Well, my brothers and sisters, when you stand up to preach, let God have his way. I walked into a nursery school the other day and I overheard the teacher telling a child, repeat after me, don't you know when you stand up to preach, you don't preach, but if you are blessed that day, God stands beside you and whispers to you, repeat after me. I know what I know what you I know what you get what you're thinking. I know what you're saying on the inside. Why did they have to stop there? But I know Dr. Clark, and you know him too. He'll just quit on you anytime.